Welcome to another AFL YouTube video. Lachlan2612 Sports Channel here. And today, we are going to take a look back to see what would happen if Season 2020 would look like if there was no such thing as the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, there's no such thing as panic buying toilet paper. No such thing as PS5s getting panic bought and not, not having not much supply. No such there'll be no such thing as rapid antigen tests. No such thing as COVID vaccines. And there'll be no such thing as lockdowns. Or social distancing in this year of in this world. For the overview of the 2020 season in real life. The biological bomb first set off between GWS and Sydney Swans at Blacktown at Blacktown International Sports Park in the 2020 Marsh Community Series. This was the game GWS won by 100 points. Let's assume for this scenario that there is no biological bomb being set off in Sydney, which is known as the Ruby Princess. Which ruined the AFL and the NRL for three months. Caused, caused us to go to a nationwide lockdown. Caused Victorian teams to go to Queensland for the for most of the 2020 season. And now. Let's see how we can go back in... We'll be going back in time for this one to see what the league would look like if there was no such thing as COVID. We'll take a look at all the results from the leagues. The AFL, the SANFL, the VFL, the Waffle and the NEFL. And see who will make the finals from each league and who will make the who will win the wooded spoon from each league and who will make the grand final. We'll see you guys at the we'll see you guys at the end of the last round. Hello guys, we're at the end of the season now for what would have happened if there was no such thing as COVID nineteen. Let's take a look at the ladder. The Brisbane Lions have won the minor premiership at the end of the minor rounds. Port Adelaide finished in second. Geelong finished third. Richmond finished fourth. St Kilda had a fifth, fifth place finish. They finished ahead of West Coast on percentage. Collingwood, well, they end of the season in seventh. Eighth went to the Dogs. While well, Melbourne have finished ninth. With Carlton in 10th, Gold Coast 11th, Essendon 12th, Fremantle finished 13th, GWS, they've underperformed in 2020, finishing 14th, Sydney had a 15th place ending to the season, 16th went to Adelaide, 17th was Hawthorne, while for North Melbourne. They were bottom of the ladder at the end of 2020. As we now take a look at the results for each round of the season. We're not going too fast with the results. These are the round one results. We'll go for them round by round.
man. What a, what a game that was in round four. Richmond had broken the record score and beat the Crows by 192 points. That was the record margin. Oh, hang on. I went a bit quick with round eight and seven. We're being round by round results in the home and away season. Let me know in the comment section below which which result do you reckon was your biggest upset of 2020? For what in what would have happened if there was no such thing as the COVID-19 pandemic? In the real 2020 with with the COVID-19 pandemic happened, North Melbourne had finished bottom of the ladder. It was the Crows who finished bottom of the ladder. But, for this one, North Melbourne have finished bottom with the Crows finishing 16th. <laughs> Now, 
That means the Kangaroos will now get the number one pick in this year's draft. As for the finals, Brisbane have had a 49 point win over Richmond in the first of the qualifying finals. In the second of the qualifying, Port Adelaide won in a low scoring affair against Geelong. While St Kilda had ended the Western Bulldogs season in the elimination final, while West Coast have beaten Collingwood in the other. Setting up Richmond versus St Kilda at the MCG in the first of the semi-finals, with Richmond winning comfortably by 44 points. While in the other semi-final, West Coast travelled to Geelong to meet the Cats. They would go down by five points. While in the preliminary final, Brisbane Lions had taken care of business against Geelong, while Richmond fell short against Port Adelaide. But hang on a minute. Port Adelaide were the ones who fell short in the prelim against Richmond. Setting up Brisbane and the Tigers in the grand final. And your 2020 AFL Premiers for what would happen if there was no... Hang on a minute. Brisbane have made a last minute change in the grand final. Stefan Martin was out, is out in the last minute. Meeting Archie Smith comes in as his replacement. While Mitch Robinson pulled out of a grand final due to... Due to a corked thigh, Thomas Berry comes in as his replacement. And now for the moment of truth. The winner of the 2020 AFL Grand Final is... Oh, blow me down. It's the Brisbane Lions. It's the Brisbane Lions who are the 2020 AFL Premiers. Their first, they've won their first in 17 years. The drought, the drought is over for the Lions. Man, what about that? Lachlan Brown loses the 2020 Grand Final against the te against his potential team next for next season. Blow me now! What a Grand Final that was. The Brisbane Lions have done had won it with 10 seconds to go on the clock. to take out their first first premiership in 17 years and the Norm Smith medalist is well it was Matt Greenwood he won the Norm Smith in a losing side like he did in 2018 As we go to the goal kickers. For the Brisbane Lions, well, soon to be depart soon to be departing line, Daniel McStay's kicked three. Charlie Cameron with two. Eric Kipwood with two. Hugh McCluggage with two. Cam Rayner kicked two as well. While well, Zach Bailey, Jared Lyons, Lincoln McCarthy, and Brandon Starsevich all got on the board. Well, for the runners up, Richmond. <coughs> Four to Rewalt, three to Kane Lambert.
Two to Shea Bolton. Two to Shane Edwards. Lachlan Brown kicked one. Matt Greenwood kicked one. Dion Prestia with one. And Nick Vlostone with one. That was one of the greatest grand finals in, well, what it's probably feels like the modern era. The Brisbane Lions have brought hope to Queen, back to Queensland. After so many years of trying. In real life, with COVID nineteen, it was the Tigers who were premiers in real in the real twenty twenty. With this, when the COVID nineteen pandemic happened in real life, but since there was no, since there was no biological bub set up in New South Wales during the preseason, the Brisbane Lions have done enough to win to win their first premiership in the, in 17 years. Can they make it back to back in 2021? It was a well-deserved victory for the Brisbane Lions and we'll see you all in season two, in season 2. Welcome to the 2021 season for Video overview of what would have happened if there was no such thing as COVID-19. Let's take let's go team by team for this one. Video let's go to the Adelaide Crows. Well, they have debuted a lot of yutsters in 2021. The standout player this in 2021 for the Crows would be Rory Ladd. While the standout first year player on the team is is new boy Jaden Bebel. He he won Adelaide Crows best first year player in 2021 and came fourth in the Rising Star that year. He did a nice job at Adelaide replacing depart de replacing their departed Bradley medalist Alex Scott, who had left for the previous for this year's runners up, the Brisbane Lions. Adelaide have had a few. Adelaide, they finished 14th in 2021 with six wins on the board. The best of which came against Geelong in round one at Adelaide Oval. Although the Crows may still get thrashed at times, but they still had a bit more spirit. Also blooded for their first games at Adelaide were Riley Tilthorpe, Luke Pedler, Braden Cock, James Rowe, Sam Berry. The recruit of the set the best trade recruit of the season at Adelaide would have to be Sean Hunt. 
No, he was the he was the man they acquired from Melbourne this from Melbourne last season. Given he wanted to leave the Demons after they acquired Matt Greenwood. And he did just as good at his new team at Ide. Whilst he got traded for Chris McQueen. Another another Crows legend. It's been a spirited debut. It's been a spirited year for the Crows. Now for the Brisbane Lions. They finished... They... They've had a really good season. They were minor premiers at the end of the year with a 20-2 record. And they had a... They had a pretty good run in the finals too. They beat Sydney in the qualifying final at... The Gabba. Then they beat Port Adelaide at the... Then they beat Port Adelaide in the prelim at their own patch. Before losing... On last score wins at... Before losing the grand final on last score wins against Melbourne by six points. <clears throat> it had been a really good year for Brisbane. Lockie Neal was on top of his game in the midfield. Along with the likes of him, a cluggage, Jared Lyons, Dane Zorko. Have you got a What's that, Dad? Have you got a drink? No, I haven't. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I was just doing the recording for the second season of what would happen if COVID never happened. Oh, no worries, mate. Yeah. Anyways, back, back to the video. The Brisbane forward line also stood out, stood out, had its shoulders above the rest with the likes of Eric Hepwood, Charlie Cameron, Lincoln McCarthy. And two new recruits, Joe Danaher from Essendon and Lachlan Brown coming out of Richmond. Would help the Brisbane Lions into the grand final. Carlton. They managed to finish Tet for 2021. They were on a bit of a similar run to what they... They were on a bit of a similar run in the second half of 2021 compared to what they did in the second half of 2020. But it wasn't enough to make the finals again. The end result was David Teague lost his job. And Michael Voss would come in to be his replacement at Carlton. Even though, the, even though the Blues didn't blood many debutantes, they still managed to bring in Zach Williams and Adam Saad to their, to their lineup. And the story of the season for Carton would have to be the emergence of Sam Walsh into a superstar. Collingwood. It had been a poor season for the Magpies. They were they made the finals in 2020, but one year later they finished 16th with just four, with just five wins all season. It had been absolutely poor for Collingwood. They had players on the on the on the on one side of the scale, like starting off in the AFL, like they had players starting off in the league, like Oliver Henry, Finlay McRae, Reef McKins, Caleb Poulton, Liam McMahon, Bro McCreary, Jack Genevan, Aiden Begg. Josh Krasiska and Matt Rocker, two father-son recruits, who were both the sons of Gavin and Severio Rocker. While they had the likes of Chris Main, Levi Greenwood. Dinner's ready, man. Thanks. And another ending their careers. It was a poor season for Collingwood. 
And that will just about do it for part part one of what would have happened if COVID-19 never happened in 2021, team by team. Anyways, we're in part two now of team by team, by team reviews of what would have happened if COVID never happened. Now, for the rest of them. Well, the Bombers. Well, they were kind of a bit stagnant from 2020. They finished 12th in 2020, and now they finished 11th. And also, Mr. It was their first full season under Ben Rutten. Progress is slowly getting there for the Bombers. Because they had a, quite a good mixture of young players and old players. Fremantle Dockers. Well, they have 2021's biggest surprise story. What a season from the Dockers! They went from missing the finals for five consecutive years to hosting an elimination final against Geelong. But the Dockers, they were unlucky. They went down by 31 points in the elimination final. As for Geelong, however, well, they've gone for preliminary finalists in 2020 with Dre Bennett on the team to, well, not so lucky in 2021. Since their star player left for Brisbane. Gold Coast Suns. They are one of the biggest shock. It was the biggest shock of 2021. Seeing how the Gold Coast Suns made it to the top eight after 10 years of not playing in the finals. Suns, they, their first final ended in a 10-goal loss against the Western Bulldogs. There is hope around the corner for the Suns. As for the Giants, it comes to show that they are now no longer contenders. They were one of the best teams of 29. They were one of the best teams between 2016 to 2019. And now. It seems they're not going to be replicating that success again. And they've fallen, fallen, fallen down to 15th. As for GWS, just like Carlton and Collingwood, are looking set to have a new coach to try to turn things around next year. Carlton have got Michael Voss. Collingwood have just appointed Craig McRae. <clears throat> and for GWS, they have now appointed Mark McVeigh to be their new coach. Following the departure, following Leon Cameron's resignation. Hawthorne. Oh my word! What a what a rise! What a what a rise by the Hawks! Their first up there. Well, they had a bit of. They were, Beat up and down in the first half of the year, but second half of the year they were also a bit up and down. <coughs> it seems they're beginning to fast track their rebuild. Going from 16th in 2020, 17th in 2020, to 12th in 2021. However, the highlight of the season was was that was the send off for Clarko. Bit winning, winning by 32 points against the against the 2020 grand finalist Richmond. It 
It was a good day for Clark. It was a good day for Clarko's last game as a coach. As for the Demons, Melbourne, what a year they had. They won the first 15 games before losing, going down to Port Adelaide and the Gold Coast Suns. And then they continue to win after that. <coughs> as they would finish the year as reigning premiers. They'll be going into the 2022 season as defending premiers. North Melbourne. They only rose one position from 18th to 17th. As in round 23, they, they, they saved the highlight of the season to the, to the very end. And that was a and that was a win at Adelaide Oval against the Crows. Port, a Port Adelaide, on the other hand, they've made two preliminary finals and they have both been losses. Lost to the, lost to the Tigers in 2020 at home and Brisbane in 2021 at Adelaide Oval. Not Adelaide Oval, the Gabba. Overall, it has been a pretty good year for the Power. Richmond. Well, it looks like the Tigers dynasty is coming to an abrupt end. They made four straight grand finals and now they have finished ninth in 2021. It seems this Richmond team have not been the same since two two of their star players had left the Tigers to for other opportunities. With Greenwood going out to Melbourne Demons and Brown becoming a Brisbane Lion. St Kilda, at the other hand, they went from semi finalists in 2020 to 13th in 2021. It was not a very good year overall for St Kilda. But they kept the faith with Brett Ratton. Know that he could turn things around in 2022. Sydney have been the feel good story of the year. They've gone from fourth bottom in 2020. They've gone from. The bottom four in 2020, 2020 to the top four in 2021. It was a pretty... It, overall, it was a good year for Sydney. And they went from four straight 100-plus point losses to a top four finish. <clears throat> West Coast Eagles, however... It appears 2021 they've done their dash. They were nearly preliminary finalists the previous year, but then become wooded spooners in 2021. West Coast have had 60 players on the list and had to use top up players to fill both squads. As for the Western Bulldogs, the Western Bulldogs. They still managed to finish below the top four, but they managed to win finals. Which was a which is a positive step in the right direction for the Western Bulldogs. And that was just about almost just and uh, hang on a minute. Let's go to the finals results. 
before we go through to the to the awards, and then it'll be, it'll be it for the 2021 no-COVID season. Lions have beaten the Swads at the Gabba in the qualifying final. Melbourne have beaten Port Adelaide at MCG. Bulldogs are beating Gold Coast at Marvel Stadium, while Geelong taken down for Allen up the stadium. Semi-finals. The Bulldogs only got up by a point at the SCG against the Swads. Port Adelaide, they have once again beaten Geelong in the finals. This time in the semis. As for the prelim... Port Adelaide went down at the Gabba against Brisbane, while the... While the Western Bulldogs will lose by a kick against Melbourne at Adelaide at the MCG. Oh boy, the grand final! It was a thriller. It was it was tied. It was it was tied at the end of the last quarter, and it was tied after the second period of extra time for that to go down to mean last score wins. The Demons will get up by six points. In what would be the greatest grand final of all time. I'm sure the Brisbane Lions will be back in 2022. To try to win another premiership. And for the awards. Ollie Wides will win, a, will win the Brownlow medal for Port Adelaide. While for... New Brisbane recruit Lachlan Brown. He is a Carbon medalist once again. He's won Carmen's at Adelaide. He's won Carmen's at Richmond. And now he's done it at Brisbane. The Norm Smith medalist was Matt Greywood. He had won the Norm Smith for the third time. In his illustrious career. He won it at a losing grand final in 2018 at Richmond. 2019 at Richmond in a winning win against GWS. And in, and in 2021 for Melbourne against the Brisbane Lions. And that will wrap up season 2021 with Melbourne.